Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam tells us in the famous hadith of the seven great enormities, major sins. One of them is black magic. Unfortunately, people blame every failure on black magic. They, they think black magicians are responsible for every difficulty they have to face. Out of a thousand cases claimed to be affected by black magic, you may find one up to ten cases that are really affected by black magic. The rest, maybe psychological disorders, illusions, or just real failure in life. Seeking refuge with Allah is a major is a major weapon in our hands. One of the major way to protect yourself from black magic and shaitan is taqwa. Maintain a state of taqwa. If you believe that you're affected by black magic so that your marital life is hell, is not working, then believe me, that it is not black magic. Something wrong between you and your wife. First of all, your name? Azar. Azar, where have you come from? I'm from Manchester. And how did you hear about the event? Oh, um, one of my, my friend, and my uh, my cousin, he, he told me about uh, everything about, and uh, I, I couldn't, couldn't wait to attend. I thought it was last week, but I thought, uh, th th then I found out it's, uh, it's on 31st of August. So I left everything and uh, I came around half an hour early. So it was a really nice event. I love it. Is very. this your first time listening to Sheikh Mohammed? Yeah, it's the very, very first time. And so I, I, it's, a, it's a blast for me and I, I love it. Is this a topic that's of specific interest to you for a certain it's, reason? It's very, very interesting. It's a, it's a common, common problem in, in our society. and. Uh, I think I think everybody should learn about this, this everything, and uh, he talk about almost every every issue, every aspect about in in, in Islam, and uh, I think um, everybody should learn about what he said, and everything is just just right in our heart. It's it's a blessing for us to attend his his lecture. If there was one takeaway, if there was one takeaway for you from today's event, what would it be? That would be, you know, uh, for being, being a Muslim, we, we should give it azan, you know, if they, they, because in, in, in the UK there is no, uh, uh, you know, very loud azan. So uh, for me, I'm, I'm going to give azan before before praying in, in, in my house, in my cousin's house, and uh, going to read uh, uh, Ayatul Kursi, you know, before before uh, going to sleep and, uh, you know, when we wake up. And, uh, and uh, in a char charcoal cool closet with nas, closet with filling, and uh, and we have to read, and uh, Allah will protect us from, from our, you know, any bad bad things, and, and shirk and jinn. Thank you very much. Imam Al-Tabori, Asif. Um, Where have you come from? Uh, Disbury, local. Gatli. How did you hear about the event? Uh, Facebook. Same Facebook. Page. What was it that made you want to attend? Is this a subject that's of particular interest to you? Uh, I have previously considered it, you know, it's not one of the major subjects in Islam, but it's quite niche and, you know, yes, you don't get many opportunities to study it or whatever, so, yeah. How did you find the event? Sorry? How did you find the event? Uh, it was really good actually, because I thought the way the Sheikh approached it, the angle he approached it, it was, it was a, from a different angle that I thought he might consider it. But I thought it was a really kind of effective way. And like maybe it dispelled some of the cultural community stereotypes around the black magic as well. But I thought it was really good. Yeah. Uh, we're about to interview uh, uh, Sheikh Wasim uh, Ahmed and Sidi Nabil Shah regarding the uh, protection from black magic event with Sheikh Mohammed that just finished. Um, how did you both find the event? Uh, very enlightening, uh, very informative, 
uh, different flavor. It was interesting to see the Sheikh going from one topic to another within the same topic, you know, how he adjusted what protects us and what we need to avoid as well so that it doesn't harm us. Really good, mashallah. Alhamdulillah, there's always great barakah and blessing from the Sheikh. Um, you always learn something new on every talk. And Alhamdulillah, it's great to be in such a beautiful gathering. You travelled all the way from Glasgow for the event? That's right, yeah. What drew you to the event? Uh, the Sheikh, of course. Just the presence of the Sheikh, just to be in the, in the company of the Sheikh. Is this something you both find uh, an issue in your respective communities? Uh, yes, I think there's a lot of people with such issues that don't know where the guidance is and something like this really educates and simplifies things down a lot just for the layperson as well, yeah. I think it's relevant. What would be your one takeaway from the event? Alhamdulillah, of course the du'as of the Sheikh is a, a great blessing. Just the presence, again, once again, the presence of the Sheikh, just to be in the presence of the Awliya is a, something that you can't put into words really. Do you think that um, the uh, some of the remedies that Sheikh Muhammad said is going to find a place in the people who attended the talk and the community? Inshallah, I think um, they went through so many different remedies and I think it will make a big difference just from something simple as saying Bismillah ar rahman rahim before walking into the house. I think something as simple as that will make such a big blessing in people's house, within the community. Alhamdulillah, it's very... It's a great gathering. Any final words? Um, I think we'll take back a lot to our communities. I think it's our job now to pass on this information to those who couldn't be here. And, and to, I just add to what uh, Nabil was saying, I think we've taken back an idea that dhikr, remembering Allah, is so central to the life of a Muslim that if you mention Allah in all your states, it's just protection and blessings in all your life. I think that's a message we need to get across to people that dhikr is. Yo, dikir is blessings. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.